Knitting without needles is simple once you know how, and in this video tutorial, Laura Strutt is going to take you through the basic steps of arm knitting. Once you've mastered these techniques, you'll be well on your way to making all sorts of bold and beautiful knitted items for your home and to wear. So let's begin. The starting point is to create a simple slip knot. Draw out a length of yarn from the ball. You'll need about one to two forearm lengths per ten stitches to be cast on. Make a loop with the yarn by taking the working yarn, or the yarn on the side of the ball, and passing it over the yarn tail. Reach through the loop to take hold of the working yarn, draw it through and pull to secure the knot. Slide the slip knot over your right hand and arrange the two ends of yarn, with the yarn tail over the palm of your left hand, looping over your thumb and the working yarn to the right hand side. Next, pass your right hand under the lower loop on your palm and over the upper loop. Take hold of the working yarn and draw your hand back through the loop over your left palm. This loop will become the stitch, so slide it over your right hand and onto your wrist. So, arrange the yarn, pass your right hand under the lower loop and over the upper loop, take hold of the working yarn, pull it back through and slide the stitch onto your wrist. Repeat these steps to create the required number of stitches. To make the infinity scarf, Laura is going to cast on 8 stitches along her right arm before moving on to the first row. You'll need to slide the previous stitches up your arm to make space. Next, Laura will knit the first row. With the fingers on your right hand, hold the working yarn. Use your left hand to pick up the first stitch on your right arm, pass it over your right hand and drop it. The yarn held in your right hand becomes the new stitch, so pass this onto your left arm. Adjust the stitch by pulling the working yarn so that it sits snugly on your wrist. Then repeat these steps to knit the remaining stitches from your right arm over to your left arm. If you're following this video, you may need to pause or rewind and watch a section again. But trust us, this is really easy once you get the hang of it. So, hold the working yarn in your right hand, use your left hand to take the stitch over your right hand and drop it, then feed the new stitch onto your left arm. For the second row, hold the working yarn in your left hand. Use your right hand to pick up the first stitch and bring it over your left hand, drawing the working yarn through the stitch as you do so. Insert your right hand into the front of the stitch and adjust. Repeat these steps until you have all of the stitches on your right arm again. Following rows will follow the same instructions as for first and second rows, depending on whether you're knitting from right arm to the left or left arm to the right. So holding the working yarn in your left hand, pass the stitch over your left hand and insert your right hand into the new stitch. To make the infinity scarf you will need to knit 27 rows. Laura is knitting this piece with four strands of yarn to create a lovely chunky finish. If you'd like to add contrasting colours to your scarf, then try using two different yarns and taking just two strands of each. You'll be amazed at how quickly you can complete bold statement projects and how quick it is to learn arm knitting. Once you get the hang of these basic steps, you'll be able to whiz your way through rows like Laura. The infinity scarf takes less than an hour to knit. Finally, you'll need to secure the stitches by casting off. Finish your row with the stitches on your right arm and knit the first and second stitches onto your left arm as normal. Use your right arm to pick up and lift the first stitch on your left arm over the second by bringing it over your left hand and dropping it. Knit the next stitch from your right arm onto your left and again pass the first stitch over the second on your left arm. Continue working across the row in this way. Each time, the first stitch will be secured in place by the second. To secure the final stitch, 
simply slide it off your arm and feed the working yarn through the stitch. If you're making the infinity scarf, then you now need to join the two shorter ends together to form a loop. Using the yarn tails, hand stitch the ends together. Not to secure and weave the remaining yarn into the scarf. And arm knitting doesn't have to stop at scarves. In her new book, Laura has designed lots of great projects for your home and for you to wear. We hope you've enjoyed following this arm knitting tutorial. For more help and advice, check out Laura Strutt's new book. Thank you for watching.